Number seven is called a mystic. If you're born on 7th, 16th, or 25th of any given month, or if you had heard about, if you have heard about the mystical planet Ketu or Neptune, well, its impact on Vedic astrology or in numerology indeed is immense. I'm about to share here the remedy for number seven. Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chandani. Welcome to Invincible Passion Talk Show. Today is quite interesting number and one of the lucky numbers, number seven. Number seven, if you're born on 7th, 16th or 25th of any given month or your date of birth, the total comes to seven, then you rule by number seven. Number seven is a mystic. Number seven is an intuitive. Number seven has the analytical mind, does great in research related subjects. Well, number seven also has that energy that gives number seven anxiety, restlessness. Number seven doesn't know what to do, which way to go and how to handle that. Well, today I'm sharing remedy on that. And the other aspects of number seven from Vedic astrology, when you call Ketu is, it makes you intuitive. You have so much of energy, you do not know which way and how to go about. Just think of that fire, it can burn but it can also cook. So number seven energy, if harnessed well, can give you the great astrologers, the healers, the surgeons, the doctors. Now number seven has this restless energy and are often misunderstood, but people don't understand them. Yes, they like the solitude. You leave them, they'll be happy in their own zone. But number seven has to break the negativity of number seven by consciously putting, putting in efforts to go mingle with others, go socialize. But number seven, if you are, if you chant this Beej Mantra, the Vedic Beej Mantra, Om Kain Ketave Nama, 108 times, start with Tuesday or Wednesday, and for 45 days, if there are any negative results in your life due to number seven, you will see a positive nudge. You will see the directions, and you will see a lot of relief. Now, again, do you really need, if you have that energy, you need the direction, then this is going to help. But as part of the bonus tip, number seven, when you say Ketu, their strength is being an intuitive, the energy healers. So number seven, what it can also do is start reading books. Number seven has so much energy that they're not able to sleep well usually and the mind is always thinking and this to a certain extent then gives them restlessness and impacts their health also. So when you read a book, pick up this habit, you're focusing consciously your energy, you're directing it to a positive output. Well, start doing it. And another thing you can do is start meditation. In meditation also, when you focus, you are activating the intuition that Ketu gives you or the number seven gives you and suddenly think of you always love to run but if you haven't decided your destination then all your energy is going waste in the same way if you channelize that speed and energy and guide someone for the olympics suddenly they have a destination suddenly they have a motive same way when number seven starts reading books their energy that restlessness they are not able to sleep or focus gets diverted into a positive way, which they will see positive results in life, in their professional and personal lives as well. Or you, when you start to do meditation, same way you activate your Ketu, the intuition and your focus and the energy that was going waste, suddenly will start supporting you. You may think it's simple remedy, but as I said, a bonus tip is usually part of my consult. But as you are a member of this family, I share these episodes and these unique tips do give it a like and a share and let me know once you share by leaving the comment shared and if you're number seven share with me if you are able to relate with the results of number seven here until next week take care